Okay. Right now, Jared had found two toe impressions. I know they're hard to see, so I'll try to do my best. This is the first one. You can see the divot. It's a very large toe. It takes up here. Let's see, here's three of my fingers. That's how big the toe is. You look at the second toe, it only takes up, it takes up also three fingers. I'll put my fingers below. That's one toe. That's the second toe. I don't know if that's a Bigfoot-like creature, but this there's a lot of berries and water around here. And I'm not gonna measure it, but I would say, I'll show you. Here's the length of my foot. Okay, here's, the toe starts here, and let's see if I can, actually here we go, The just two toes alone, just two toes alone, here and here, you almost have a six inch spread and that's for two toes. Bigfoot's a five, five, six toe creature, which means that the, the spread Actually, you can almost see more toes if you look. We can outline it. Go ahead and outline it. He's going to outline it. There's actually three toes. All right, we outlined it. And so what you do is you have one toe here. It looks like possibly one here, but it's wrecked here and here. So you got about four toes. And I'm going to try to put my foot next to it to show you the size. Okay, Let's see if I can turn my foot without my ankle killing me. Oh, you want to do it? It's fine. Right. That's how large the toe spread is. All right, I wear a size 13, and this is a, the, the, the toe. The toe spread for this is as, as long as my foot, which means whatever made this he may have had been very large. Which means that even though there's no, you don't have any length of the impression you do have four toes and those four or five toes are 13 almost 12 13 inches long which means the track whatever made this could have had a good 18 inch to 20 inch track so it's pretty phenomenal thank you jared for finding this this is a good find even though it's hard to see you can see the debits three and and they get smaller so you have this was probably a right foot and the big divot is here, and it spreads all the way, and it gets smaller. Yeah. But whatever made this had a huge foot. It did. Anyways, we're on the hunt for Bigfoot. We're just examining anything, even though it's circ circumstantial evidence, it's still something we have to log in our diary and our and document. Uh, this is Lord Rick. We'll be back with more footage. Hopefully, we'll see some Sasquatch or maybe find a much more healthier track this is kind of old but something did step down and this is not the foot what you're looking at is toes you can actually see it's kind of hard to see but when I take it away and you look you can see like for example this dirt separates the toes like you'll have a toe here and then you'll have some dirt here separating so whatever walk here was barefoot and humans usually only have like five inch four inch toe spread the toe spread here is about it was about 10 to 13 inches give or take it's pretty long it doesn't have a it didn't make a foot track here is pretty hard right here but this is softer and so it probably pushed down with his toes thus creating the toe impressions anyways we'll come back with more footage hopefully find some more evidence as proof to show uh we're in the desolation wilderness if you ever study a Bigfoot map, the Desolation Wilderness has almost more Bigfoot sightings and vocalizations and Bigfoot prints than anywhere in the country. So this is the spot you want to be if you're looking for the beast, the giants of the forest. Anyways, good find, Jared. Thanks. Peace, man. Peace. Peace. Peace.